Today we're working through a nice, cooling, floaty and spacious little practice. Really good for if you're feeling a bit hot and bothered, whether that's physically in this warm weather that we're having, or just a little hot and bothered in your mind. Let's give ourselves a little bit of space, a little bit of time, just to reset, wind down and get out of our minds and into our bodies. So we're going to start standing up. So come to the top of your mat and just take a moment, feel your feet on the ground, maybe lift up your toes and then plant them back down on the ground, noticing the floor beneath you, noticing those touch points of yourself with the ground. And just taking a body scan from here all the way up, maybe close down your eyes for a moment. As you scan up, noticing a slight rising in yourself, maybe lifting up and out from the waist, rolling the shoulders up towards the ears and then finding that space as they roll back down between the ears and the shoulders, lengthening through the back of the head. Release your fingers and allow your fingers to be wide, feel that space between the fingers. Take a nice deep breath into the belly. Let your body rise on the inhale. And as you exhale, open the mouth and feel connected, feel here. Maybe tracing a little outline of your body. And as you next inhale, keeping that feeling of spaciousness within your body, start to slowly lift your arms to the sky, lifting up and out. And as you exhale, micro-bend through the knees and move forward from the hips, finding a forward fold. Bend your knees as much as you need to allow your fingers to connect with the ground in front of you. As you inhale, find a halfway lift. So lift up through the back of the legs, through the crown of the head. And then exhale, softly fold here. As you inhale, press into the feet, lift the hands all the way up to the sky, lift up and out from the hips, the shoulders, the fingertips. Exhale, forward fold, micro bend through the knees, allow the fingertips to find the floor. Inhale, hard way, find length, first hands. Exhale, forward fold, heavy through the crown of the head. Final time, inhale, lift your hands to the sky. Exhale, fold it down. Halfway lift, inhale, create space here. And then exhale, fold into that space, heavy head, soft bend through the knees. Inhale, lift your hands to the sky. Keep them lifted here as you take the weight into your left foot, right knee lifts. Exhale, we'll step back to a high lunge. So embrace those wobbles, see how slowly and lightly you can pop that back foot down. Inhale, lift up through the toes, through that front leg. Exhale, circle your arms back as you ground down through the legs. So nice bend through that front knee, soft and slow circles. Inhale, little rise. Exhale, lead with the chest, arms fall back behind you, embrace those wobbles. Final round, inhale. Exhale, open up, ground down. Inhale, lift your hands to the sky, weight into the front foot, we'll step the back foot to meet the front, nice and lightly. Place your foot down, release your hands. Inhale, lift the arms, weight into the right foot, this time lift your left knee, engage through the belly. Exhale, how slowly, how steadily can you pop the left foot down behind you, find a high lunge. Inhale to lift, exhale, open, allow the arms to fall back behind you, maybe lift your gaze. Inhale, little lift, exhale, circle the arms. One more time, inhale, exhale, release your breath. Hands come back up, and this time we're going to frame the front foot, so nice bend through that front knee. Frame your front foot and step back, find your downward facing dog. 
So feet are roughly hip distance. Press your wide fingers into the mat. And lift your hips high. Find a nice bend through the knees and lift your heels. So your belly moving a little closer to the thighs. Oh, your head to be heavy. Let's wave it forward. So inhale, roll forward to a high plank. Engage your glutes. Exhale, bend the knees, hips back to heels, active child's pose, then inhale, lift the hips, length through the legs. Two more like that, inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, roll it back, just like a wave, inhale, lift up, down dog. Final wave, inhale, forward. Exhale, push back, lift heels, bend knees. Exhale, ground down in your downward facing dog. We'll drop the knees, keep the toes lifted, and find an active child's pose. So spread your fingers nice and wide, bring them towards the top of the mat, and then sit the hips back to the heels. Let your head be heavy. Breathe into the back body. So feel the space between the ribs of your back body as you inhale. And as you exhale, soften here. Hello. Start to walk your hands back, keeping the toes tucked. See how this feels here, stretching through the back of the feet, the base of the feet. You're welcome to untuck the toes if ever this feels uncomfortable. Lift the hands, we'll circle for three. For two. And for one, lifting high. Exhale, two, release. Coming to our downward facing dog, so spread the fingers nice and wide. Keep those toes tucked, lift the hips. Bend your right knee here, shift forward to a plank pose, and then pop the foot either between the hands or as far as it goes and shuffle it up between the hands. Ground down through left heel, left arm sweeps forward. We open out in our warrior two. I'll turn so you can see me here. So nice deep bend through that front knee. Press into the outer edge of the feet, strong and steady legs. And then notice the space across the chest. Holding the legs here, we take front forearm to thigh. Lift your left hand up and over. Stretching through the whole left side body. Exhale, takes left hand back, right arm to the sky. Two more like that. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back, reverse warrior. Inhale, forward. And exhale, back. Keep those strong and steady legs. Inhale, lift your legs, extend through the arms. Skandasana towards the front of the mat. So bending into your right knee, lift the left toes, and then draw your hands down. So a nice deep bend through this right knee. You can lift the heel to get the hips nice and low. And then keeping those hips low, we'll travel towards the back of the mat. Frame that back foot, and then step back. Find your downward facing dog. Take a breath in your down dog. Breathe in through the nose. Lift your heels. As you exhale, open the mouth and ground down through the feet. Left knee bends this time. Shift forward to plank and then popping the foot again between the hands or wherever they land. Ground down through your back heel and circle the arms open. Find your warrior two this time with your left knee forward. I'm just going to turn so that you can see me. Again, feeling that space through the chest. Feel our lightness through the arms. Maybe wiggle the shoulders, release them from the ears. And feel the space between your fingers. Let's start to wave here. So left forearm to left thigh, right arm up and over. Exhale, brings you back, reverse warrior. Lift your left hand to the sky, right hand to the back leg. Two more. How slowly... And steadily can you move here. Notice how 
the stretch changes, come towards reverse warrior. As you move from the front of the back side angle, stretch through the right side body. Final time, reverse warrior lift up and out through the left leg. This time we're going to scan that in the towards the back of the mat, so bending into your left knee. And then travel, take the hips towards the front. Step back, find your downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, release the heels. Drop the knees. Active child's pose, so nice space between the fingertips, tucking through the toes, sink your hips back to your heels and drop the head. Breathing in, and breathing out. From here, I'll slide forward onto the belly. So keep the fingers on their fingertips and just slide forward onto your belly. Hands are nice and wide. And maybe just off your mat, untuck your toes, press the toes into the mat. Cobra roll. So as we inhale, allow your forehead to be connected to the floor. And as we inhale, press into the fingers, lead with the back of the head, peeling up the chest, perhaps the ribs, maybe even the belly. See how far feels good. And then exhale, roll back down. Last thing to connect is forehead to the mat. Two more at that. Inhale, leading with the back of the shoulders. Head lifts at the top of the breath. And then exhale, roll. Final one, opening through the front body. Breath into the top of the lungs. Maybe look up to the sky. And exhale, roll it back down. Sphinx pose, taking your forearms onto the mat, elbows underneath the shoulders roughly. Press into the fingertips and just notice a slight opening through the front of the body. You may want to pop a blanket underneath your hips if this feels quite intense on the pelvis. But just notice here where you can soften, maybe through the shoulders, let's close down the eyes. And then start to walk the hands back. Lifting up to all fours. We're going to make our way onto our back. So just rolling on to the sit bones and then shuffle forward so that you've got room to lie down. So you make your way onto your back. Take the feet nice and wide, arms by your side. And we'll just drop both knees over to the left. And then both knees over to the right. Take a deep cooling breath in through the nose. And release it through the nose. Keep that movement going. Keep your breath going. And then next time your knees drop to the left, just allow them to stay here. Take your arms nice and wide. And see how it feels to pop the left heel on top of the right knee. Finding length through that right side body Option to take the gaze over towards the right. And then release the heel, pop the left heel back down, windscreen wiper, both knees over to the right. Option to pop left heel on top, sorry, right heel on top of the left knee. And again, nice wide arms, taking the gaze over to the left. Send your breath into that left side body. A cooling breath in through the nose. 
and a soft breath back out. Inhale, release that ankle, release the foot. We'll take a few moments in our Shavasana, so taking the legs nice and long. You can keep your arms wide here, or perhaps draw them alongside your body. Scrunch your toes together and then release all toes. Feel that space between your toes. Notice the negative space around your body. Space between the fingertips. The space between your body and the floor. Close your eyes, release your jaw. And for the next few moments, just be here with your breath, connected to the earth, fully supported. Starting to deepen your breath. And you're welcome to stay here if you would like. Or if you're coming up and out, just start to take your arms up and overhead. Point your toes away, a full body stretch. And then drawing the knees in toward the chest, either coming over onto one side or taking a little rock and roll. <laughs> to a seated position at the top of your mat. Bring your hands along by your body. And we'll take a final round of breath together, breathing in through the nose. Open the mouth and release. 